It is January 17th. It's time for a check-in. Have you committed to those New Year, New You resolutions? If you are struggling to get started or have already fallen off the wagon, we are here to help. Licensed counselor Sierra Hillsman recently shared tangible tips for getting back on track. Take a look. Sierra, Happy New Year. It is so great to have you back on the show, especially this time of year. January is a month of fresh starts, new beginnings, and so many of us are working on goals, or I don't know, some people still call them resolutions. I also have a power word. What are the types of goals that people make this time of year to improve their overall well-being and health? What would you say? Yes, thank you so much for starting off with overall well-being. A number of us tend to focus on the physical aspects of it all, whether it's strength training, toning, yoga, better nutrition, but it's important for us to start incorporating those mental and emotional goals as well, whether it's talking to your supervisor about your employee assistance program, or maybe even seeking a therapist, or also incorporating and developing those self-care routines that we can have on a weekly basis. Also, a number of other goals include financial goals, like mm -hmm. creating a budget, or also finding ways to be able to spend more time with our kids or establishing those boundaries between friends and loved ones. Yes, I love all of those. And you actually have some great tips to help us maintain our goals. The first one you say is to say, stay smart. What does that mean? Yes, let's get back to the basics. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-oriented. So Ooh. you wanna have some clear-cut goals that we can be able to uh, measurably look at the difference between where we are versus where we're trying to go and then staying motivated by the things that we can accomplish whether it be within the next 30 60 or 90 days and then also when we're talking about time orientation let's create a date let's put a date on that thing that way we can yeah. know how much work we need to put into in order to to achieve those goals Sierra, I love your next tip. It's something that we've all had to try to embrace over the last two years, and that is to be flexible, flexibility. Tell us more about that one. Yes, it's definitely important for us to be flexible because over the last two years, we recognize that life happens on life's terms and we can get thrown off by the unexpected. So learning to practice self-compassion, I always like people uh, to look at things like being in traffic, right? So and when you have your final destination, that doesn't change, but you may have to choose some alternative routes, do some detours, or maybe even extend that amount of time that it takes in order for you to get to that actual goal. Now, I want to follow up with you on that because it can really be hard to get that motivation back when we do fall off our goals. And, you know, so many of us do that, as studies have shown, by the end of January. So what should we do if we feel like we've lost our mojo? How do we get it back? Yes, yes, yes. So it goes back to flexibility. Take some time to look at the actual goals. See what types of changes that you can implement or even incorporate that social support. Who do you need to tap into yes. in order to help you to achieve that goal? Absolutely, and your last tip is to avoid shiny object syndrome. I'm sure many of us are guilty of that. We can find ourselves being hijacked when it comes to our focus, especially when we are looking at our friends, we're comparing our lives on social media. We start off the top of the year with maybe two or three goals and we're like so gun ho on these specific goals. But then after a while, it's just like, oh, I wanna try this. Oh, that right. looks amazing, let me incorporate that. So take some time to be able to uh, be relentlessly honest with yourself and say, hey, does this bring me into alignment with the person that I'm trying to be by the end of the year? Love all of these. And what would you say is the one thing you want people to remember as they make their plans for the rest of the year? Yes, uh, going back to the traffic analogy, understand that life is about the journey, okay? The destination is going to be there. So take some time to enjoy the journey. Like I mentioned, if you need to pull over, take a detour, you know, take some breaks, whatever the case may be, practice that self-compassion and put your well-being at the forefront when it comes to accomplishing your goals. Thank you so much. Great advice and tips. And um, I really appreciate the motivation. I know our viewers do and I do personally. So thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much for having me.